रेडी स्टार्ट द यूनिकनेस ऑफ इंडियन ग्रोथ एक्सपीरियंस इज दैट इट टेक्स प्लेस इंटायरली विद इन द फ्रेमवर्क ऑफ ए डेमोक्रेटिक पॉलिटी दिस हैज डेमोन्स्ट्रेटिव इम्प्लीकेशंस फॉर द वर्ल्ड एट लार्ज द सक्सेस ऑफ इंडिया विल बी लिविंग प्रूफ दैट ग्रोथ नीड नॉट कम एट द कॉस्ट ऑफ ह्यूमन फ्रीडम्स एट द सेम टाइम इट्स इंट्रेंसिक स्टेबिलिटी एंड कॉन्सेंसुअल बेसिस विल मेक दम सेल्वस फुली फेल्ड इन लॉन्ग टर्म पार्टनरशिप्स मैनी ऑफ यू प्रोबेबली नो द डाइवर्सिटी एंड द कम्प्लेक्सिटी ऑफ ए कंट्री ऑफ वन बिलियन पीपल दैट इंडिया इज ऑल द ग्रेट रिलीजन्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड आर रिप्रजेंटेड इन आवर कंट्री वी हैव वन फिफ्टी मिलियन सिटीजन्स हु प्रैक्टिस द फेथ ऑफ इस्लाम एंड आई से इट विथ सम प्राइड अबाउट देयर पैट्रियटिज्म दैट नॉट वन ऑफ दैम हैव जॉइंड द रैंक्स ऑफ दिस गैंग्स लाइक अलकायदा और अदर टेररिस्ट एक्टिविटीज आवर ट्रैक रिकॉर्ड ऑन कोऑपरेशन विद द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स इवन विद इन द लास्ट ईयर दैट आवर गवर्नमेंट हैज बीन इन ऑफिस क्लियरली कॉन्वेज ए डिटर्मिनेशन टू रेज बोथ इट्स क्वालिटी कॉन्टेंट एंड स्कोप वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड द नेक्स्ट स्टेप्स इन स्ट्रेटिजिक पार्टनरशिप we have established energy and economic dialogues at the very high cabinet levels put in place an intellectual property rights regime and investment policies that encourage business we have addressed the long standing disputes about american direct investments in the famous dab hole project we have recently concluded with the united states an open skies agreement we have expanded our defense cooperation with a new framework and worked very closely with the us on tsunami relief operations last year these achievements give us the confidence to now tackle the more ambitious agenda that we have before us india has consistently south to ensure that global institutions and agreements are perceived to be fair and equitable at a time when global challenges like terrorism weapons of mass destruction proliferation environmental or health have become more complex it is vital that global mechanisms have the necessary capability and credibility to respond in matters relating to terrorism we recognize that it is a global phenomenon we ourselves have suffered grievously at the hands of these terrorist gangs for more than 15 years we therefore understand the pains and sufferings of the american people or the citizens of london when terror afflicts them we recognize all civilized societies have an obligation to work together to deal with this phenomenon i feel greatly honored and privileged to be present here today as we mark the opening of a new page in the history of this blessed country of afghanistan it is an honor that gives me particular satisfaction as a friend of afghanistan and a representative of the indian people who constitute the world's largest democracy and the oldest in this region today as baba e millat lays the foundation stone of the parliament of the islamic republic republic of afghanistan the roots of a plant are being led that will through your nurturing and care grow into a sturdy panja chinar of a democracy representation is the very essence of democracy this edifice when it is built 
will be the very heart of democracy in Afghanistan. We believe that democratic institutions need to be encouraged, nursed and promoted. We also believe that they should develop and evolve in accordance with the culture, values and native genius of each country. We are partnering other democracies through the Global Democracy Initiative and have contributed $10 million to the UN Democracy Fund to be used to promote institutions based on the eternal values of liberty, equality and fraternity. Afghanistan may be a young democracy but it has always been a plural society with a unique mosaic of different ethnic and linguistic groups. The Afghan people have a tradition of democratic discourse through institutions like the Loya Jirgas. The practice of consensual decision making in Afghanistan is centuries old. We have seen the affirmation of this democratic culture through the successful conclusion of both the emergency Loya Jirga and the constitutional Loya Jirga. We admire and respect the manner in which this exercise was carried out <coughs> under the gaze of international media and observers and we salute our Afghan brethren on this remarkable achievement by a happy coincidence 26th of january the indian republic day also marks the day when the afghan constitution came into effect in the year 2004 <clears throat> democracy grows in open societies but open societies whether old or young are equally threatened today by the rise of global terrorism. In fact, the open culture of our societies make us all the more vulnerable. Globalization has made the world interconnected and interdependent. To deal effectively with global terrorism, democracies need to work together. Afghanistan has a unique position in this alliance of democracies that are fighting this menace. We are ready to work with the government and people of Afghanistan to ensure that Afghanistan will never again the hostage to or become a haven for terrorists. The real test of a functioning democracy does not lie within the pages of constitution that will lie in the august house. Stop.